So the boiling at reduced pressure demonstration, um, a really nice one of demonstrating how it's not as simple to say that uh, the temperature of the water is enough to make water boil. What we're doing in this demonstration um, is observing basically that boiling uh, under reduced pressure and we're going to reduce the pressure uh, in this demonstration by lowering the temperature. And you get a flask like this, uh, you fill it with uh, boiled water, hot water, so you use a, a kettle, it's the easiest way, and then you get a Bunsen burner and just heat the, uh, heat the round bottom flask until um, there seems to be a sufficient amount of vapour be reduced, so it's a generally about a minute. We want to see plenty of steam coming out of this, obviously we're trying to evacuate the atmosphere in there, so it's just full basically of water vapour. And then take the bungee burner off quickly, put a rubber stopper on there and, you know, tape that up really, really tightly. Um, we don't want this to get loose because what we're going to do is then when that's really tightly on, we're going to quickly invert it, so just clamp it back on the bossette clamp. Um, an O-ring might be a good idea. If you can get like an O-ring bossette clamp, you can just put it straight through the O-ring and it's just sitting there already. And um, when quite quickly, get the students around if they're not already, grab an ice bag and hold the ice bag on top. And so what's happening here is we've got boiling water down the bottom, atmosphere above, and you're cooling down the atmosphere. And what should happen is fairly quickly is the water will start to appear to reboil. Now what's happened is we've reduced the temperature in the top half of the flask. So the uh, water is going to start condensing around the top of, of the glassware there. And as it's doing that, the, the, vape, the, the pressure in, in the top half of uh, the flask is going to be reduced and it's going to make it easier for water molecules in the liquid um, basically to enter the gaseous phase and to move out of the liquid there. We're not actually making, we're not actually putting extra energy into the water. So the students can see that hopefully. Um, the energy that the water has hasn't changed but what has changed is perhaps the energy requirements to get into the atmosphere because by putting the ice pack on top um, we're, cooling it, we're cooling down the atmosphere so there's less pressure in here and so the, the sort of the energy requirements to break into the atmosphere has been reduced. Uh, it's good to show the kids, I think it's uh, really interesting if you take the ice pack off and show the kids that it actually stops boiling if the water stops condensing on top and so there's just not a natural process so when you put the ice pack back on top again the water continues to condense on top reducing the pressure again and driving the water to boil at the bottom and you can take the bag off and it'll stop. You put the bag on, it'll uh, start boiling again, you know, bag on, off, on, off. Um, you can do it two, three times and it looks really quite impressive because each time the water will start to boil. Um, other little things, if you're a little worried about putting a stopper on here, because after all there's now a reduced pressure, there's a slight risk of an implosion, well obviously get good glassware, and also, you, what you could do is, you, if you're really worried about it, you could use a, a stopper that's got a, a one-hole stopper and put a, put a tube through it and clamp the end of the tube so it's, it's closed shut. And so it's open while you're boiling the water, you close it off, you invert it, do the trick, and it works fine. And then all you need to do is, when you're ready to get, get the water back out, open it up and just pour it out. Uh, another little way you can do this demonstration is to rather than using an ice bag, or an, uh, what you could do is you could actually just hold this thing, um, one of our colleagues does, this, does it this way, in a, in a sink, obviously I'm <laughs> holding it because you're holding hot glassware, wear a, wear a glove, and then uh, run cold water over the top of this bit here, and so you don't need to invert it, you can just hold it, cold water over the top, the cold water will just run over the glassware, cool down the atmosphere, and same thing, the, the water will start to boil. Um, we don't think it's as impressive as the ice bag, but it certainly does, it works just the same.